how do you find your purpose using NLP techniques? It feels very fitting to be on Bali here. I'm on the main training room floor. There are actually seven different seating areas around the building here, including the rooftop and the garden. There's a pond, there's a pool. Many people actually come to this training here to find their purpose or to start finding their purpose. The first thing I would do with, to do, I would do if you want to find your purpose, to just rule it out, is can you find your purpose with who you are today, in this moment, in your home, in a place where you feel comfortable? And take out one hour of your time and write down your values and write down some of the strengths that you have. And start writing free flow. What is it that you could do to feel that you lead a life of purpose and meaning today? And if you have written that down and you've brainstormed for an hour with yourself on paper, and you could even go to maybe a nice nature location near where you live or walk on it for an hour as well. If you, between a writing exercise and a walking exercise or a nature exercise, have not found your purpose using, in this case, very simple techniques here, not yet NLP techniques, if you haven't found them and you still don't know, then you may as well give it up. You're not going to find it in the present time and you're not going to find it in your living room and the place where you've been walking. So you can rule that out, which means that you're really going to find your purpose in the future if you focus on it. And you may have to take some serious time to go away somewhere and do and, and experience something new. Okay. So the first thing that you could do is using NLP techniques is actually hire one of my students to do a value solicitation with you. And you can contact your office and I'll be happy to recommend someone. If that's like a little bit too much for you, what you could do is ask yourself, what is important to you in a relationship and, and any relationship with a friend, with a significant other, with a child, with a parent, with yourself? And to really just close your eyes on it and talk to your intuition, your internal self, your internal knowing. And to kind of go, okay, so when you come up with that answer, just ask, well, what is that connected into that's more important and bigger than that? And then feel the answer and then ask yourself again with that word, what does that connect into that's more important and bigger than that? And what does that connect into that's more important and bigger than that? And eventually you hit source. And so if you do that a bunch of times, what else is important to me in a relationship? What you then start finding is that you start to really discover your highest values. So that's one thing that you could do using NLP. And, and, and then center around what do I need to do to lead a life true to my values? The second thing that you can do is to, to just write down what are your strengths. What specifically, we would say in NLP, are your strengths and start writing around that think about that so now you have your values and your strengths now all you need to do is to to figure out where today where could you go who could you meet who could you connect to in terms of new experiences to start being of service to other people doesn't have to make any money doesn't have to be a big time commitment where could you even go into your city where could you maybe even travel to or whatever it is, or even join an NLP training to really go, how can I equip myself using my existing strengths, my in existing values to go out and help another person or to be of service to the environment or the greater good. And through these new experiences, then you start tapping into what your purpose is. Another way to do it is to really go for new experiences. This is why people start traveling. But you really need to be traveling with intention, traveling to not just have fun and, you know, go drinking in Changu here on Bali and, and sit at the beach and lead that whole lifestyle. That's great, but it's not how you're going to find your purpose. You need to be, you need to sit still, you need to be in learning environments you need to be getting impulses, new ideas. And I feel that NLP is really ideal for that. And, and so step into these new experiences. And the last thing that I would do 
is to what can you do to live in a space of more gratitude, awe, Awe is experienced when something is bigger than you. It could be nature or architecture. Um, and how can you exercise altruism? And so how can you step into a world where these things are more felt? And you could do that at home. You could do that more easily through travel, obviously. But those that's a way where you start to get into that space of flexibility and creativity to find your purpose. So... That's uh, a few NLP techniques and a few ideas to find your purpose.